and then a grouping that allows us end users to focus just on the items that are most important to us. So starting from our desktop, we're going to go to the Start button and take a look in the kind of the right hand side of the Start button. You will find two items of importance here. We have devices and printers and we also have control panel. Now we certainly have had these before. But the difference here is that devices and printers is where us end users will go to find those common devices. So let's take a look at that. And here they are. So monitors, uh, a mouse, a thumb drive, and so on. They'll all be listed here. But if you're looking th for things like an IDE controller or something related kind of behind the scenes, the more technical level, we have another location for that, as we'll see in a moment. So when you're working in this window, it works very much like any other folder window does in Windows. For example, if I wanted to change this view, I simply go up to my button here and I can click on the different view options. And I'm just clicking on this and rotating through and you can jump from one to another. Now in this default view, which is this one, they have nice, very accurate uh, icons now. So they'll, even if you're not quite sure, if you don't recognize the name of one of these devices, hopefully the picture will help and you'll see a picture of a printer or a fax machine and so on. If you prefer, you can also switch over to a detailed view, which is this one, and that'll give you a device category. So if the picture is not clear what that item is, then you can switch to this view and usually there'll be a, a pretty good definition of it right here. If it's your intention to add a new device, you can do it one of two ways. If it's a printer, you can use the Add a Printer button. Now, why does that get special treatment? Well, quite simply, it's the most common device that's added to a computer, so it gets its own button. So you could uh, choose Add a Printer and simply walks you through a wizard where you can select the model. Any remaining hardware devices that need to be connected to the computer, you can do through the other button, which is Add a Device. Now, interestingly though, the Add a Device button isn't used very often because as I'm sure you've experienced in the past, if you do connect some, some, something to your system, usually it will pop up, it'll recognize the device and ask you if you want to install it. If you have an occasion where that does not happen, you would go into Devices and Printers, click on Add a Device, and it will begin to search your computer and you can add anything you want to that. Sometimes it requires going out to the internet, to the manufacturer's website and finding the drivers you need to download, but Windows for the most part will walk you through that process. So we don't have any devices at the moment, so I'm going to cancel out of that and back to our devices and printers again. Now one other thing before we leave the device and printers folder, I'm going to switch over to this view, the view we started with. Now granted you can do what we're about to do in any view, this just happens to be the default view, so we'll get back here. Once you have a device installed, or once the device just magically appears in Windows, if you want to modify that device in any way, the easiest thing to do is to simply right click on it. So for example, I'd say the most common thing would be your printer options. I'm going to right click on my printer, and you'll get a similar menu on each of these devices. It will vary a little bit simply because if it's a vi uh, some devices of course have a different purpose than others, so you will find some variation in here. But you can almost always count on a couple of things. First of all, a troubleshooting command. So if you're having trouble with the device, if it's a scanner that the system isn't recognizing, you can try troubleshooting it. Uh, but you'll also have properties. So I'm going to select properties. And from in here, you can begin to make changes. So if there's something about that device that needs to be modified or adjusted in some way, properties is where you want to go. I'm going to click OK and leave our printer options as they are. So that's how we work with devices and printers.